another vlog so I just finished washing my face and moisturizing it and I was like you know what this week is Mother's Day let me share the skincare products that I I know I put them in reels and stuff like that but I just want to quickly go over like the skincare routine and then some other stuff that I use for like body care just in case y'all want to do like a cute self-care package for your mother for Mother's Day hopefully y'all watch this on Wednesday so if you're a last minute shopper you can you know do what you gotta do so I don't mean set y'all up real quick okay so y'all know I've been using Tatcha. This stuff is so good, y'all. This is the rent, the rice wash. It smells like Fruit Loops. I love it, especially in the morning time. You know, kind of it's like breakfast on your face, but it's super creamy and super hydrating. And then I follow up with the Kiehl's Milk Toner. So put it on a little, you know, cotton pad thing. Shake a little on there. I put it all over my face except around the eye areas. It actually recommends that you don't put it under your eye areas. After that, I use the Honey Grill. Moisturize my nose and underneath my eyes first because those are my extremely dry areas. And then I put probably like a dime size of this, maybe a little bit more, on my hands and then squirt this in with it. And I don't like that word. Drop some of these in there with it, mix it in, and then moisturize my face. And then y'all know I use Laneige to put on my lips. I was using the Ultra Facial the ultra ultra facial cleanser by kills i'm gonna finish this bottle but i won't repurchase it because it really dries my face out especially in the winter time and then for body care the dove body scrub baby i don't care if i have five bottles of this at home i buy this every single time i go to the body care section and target so the one that i've used twice is the crush macadamia this one is basically all is gone so that's my second or third and then the mango smells really good and then i just started the pomegranate seeds and shea butter this one is really good as well y'all so i'm gonna get my mama some of these if i had to choose my favorite it would probably be the mango then this one and then the pomegranate but they're all really good i also use honey pot this is my second bottle my sister put me on to this um this is a sensitive one my niece also uses this i believe Here's another one. Um, people was hyping this up. I'm not really a fan of it. This is the Peony. I wouldn't repurchase this again. The one I love, this is probably my fifth or sixth bottle of this, is I love all of organics, body washes, but this is my favorite. The one before this was, I think it was the coffee one. I really like that one, but I haven't seen it in store again. This is sea kelp and hyaluronic acid. And then I also have the coconut oil one. This is This is my favorite. This is very refreshing, especially in the morning time. Um, and then I was using this. This is good as a candle. Do not buy this. Do not buy this. But that's all like, oh, and then this is my second time using Tree Hut. I, so I do this every single day. Never fails. Every single day I exfoliate with this. This one I probably will do once a week. Um, because it's very harsh on my skin. It turns my skin red. But I got the uh, pineapple and coconut. I also used the coconut lime before. This is my second bottle of this one. They have so many different other kind, but um, they just remind me of really strong Bath and Body Works fragrances. So I stick with the coconut type ones. But yeah, that's skincare, body care type stuff that you can get as Mother Day's as a Mother's Day gift. So that's what I'm planning on doing for my mama. One second. All right. So I just got dressed. I'm about to change over my purse real quick because I have an appointment and then I'm gonna go grocery shopping. We ain't got no groceries. I feel like I look like somebody mama. Even on somebody mama, I wanna look like somebody mama. Y'all know what I'm saying? Alright, let me sit y'all look. Alright, so changing my purse and then we're about to run some errands. Let me show y'all this cute little jumpsuit I got on. Hold on. I got it from Zaria. Show y'all real quick. So, I got this little jumpsuit from Zara last year, I think. And then the sandals that I have on are also from Zara. And then I have my cute little Teddy Blake bag. So seriously, let me turn y'all around. 
Y'all already know how I feel about my Teddy Blit bag. I got y'all whole spill on it a few, a few, a few vlogs back. But I just wanted to let y'all know how well it's been actually holding up. I love this bag. When I first got it, I probably carried it for the first three weeks. And I normally switch my bags out maybe every few days depending on what i'm actually wearing but because i chose black it actually goes with a lot of stuff and honey it looks really good with this outfit that i have on right now i know when i first mentioned this bag a couple people had mentioned that they purchased their own and one person in particular i think they said in so many words that they sent it back because it was too i guess like structure and for me personally i like structured bags because it sits up it allows me to put my stuff in there and it don't spill out and hold over but y'all it's been holding up really really well and it still has that new leather smell and i think i'm about to go in there and order the orange one pockets and bows posted posted herself on instagram with the crocodile orange one and i was like wait a minute wait a minute that was cute and they also have like a bright green color that I also want to get. So speaking of, Teddy Blake is right now having a 75% off Mother's Day sale. Who don't like to save money? So think about your mama, yourself, any of the other mother figures in your life. If you're looking for something to get them for Mother's Day, in addition to self-care, you can also give them a very nice handbag they hold up really well y'all and then in terms of sizing y'all know i got the ava nine inch and i'm able to fit a good bit of stuff in here so i have all of that in here and still have room so for a small compact bag it definitely fits a good bit of stuff and it's really cute black is very classy but i need me some pop of color for the summertime and not only that you know a bag might be 800 dollars, and right now it's on sale for 400 like hello run do not walk anyways y'all let me go because i got like 20 minutes to get to my appointment i'll talk to y'all later it's morning <laughs> you're so sweet so y'all today is monday i think it's like almost 11 o'clock it has been actually it's 11 all right get back down here boy Um, I'm about to make like, some eggs, me and bring some eggs and some toast. But honey, I was like, let me turn my camera talk to him real quick. Cause y'all was coming for me. Y'all was coming for me. Like, why y'all don't like my little basket in my um in my little stool? Hmm. What's wrong with it? So I might as taken away from the stair. Girl, ain't nothing wrong with that. But honestly, I'm not in love with it, so I didn't mind. It's like, okay, well, this all give me about about eighty dollars back then, cause that that stool was um fifty, and the little basket was thirty something. Let me take it all back. Hope my husband didn't get rid of my basket. That's not what's now. I just thought like. But anyways, um. So today is Monday, obviously, like I just told y'all. And why come that picture still ain't hung up? I ain't did nothing I said I was gonna do. I came in here talking about something. Oh, we gonna have Wednesday's video done by um Sunday, girl. I liked it and I got uh Sunday's video up. Cause I wasn't at home. I had to call my call Kenzie and walk her through how to upload my video. <laughs> So it was like five minutes later. It's all good. It's all good. Mm -hmm. But anyway, y'all. What y'all doing for Mother's Day this weekend? Does anybody have plans? Anybody have plans? What are we getting our moms? What is your significant other getting y'all? Tell me. Do y'all expect a Mother's Day gift from your significant other? Let's argue in the comments. Let's argue in the comments, please. And I say argue, because I know some folks feel like they significant other should get them something and some people feel like, why, he's not my mom, I'm not his mom. But you birthed his kids. <laughs> you birthed his kids, and it showed me some appreciation. I'm just playing. Hold on, y'all. I bought this little spatula from um, home goods so that because you know with this cookware and I feel like with any ceramic cookware you shouldn't be using the metal stuff because my ones that I got from home goods they are what the hell is that 
The ones that I got from Home Goods are all scratched up, but I think it's because we didn't, um, we didn't take care of them. We used the metal spatulas on them. So anyways, I bought these so I can take care of these. But yeah, so what are we, what are, what are y'all, what are y'all getting? Cause I have a recommendation. <laughs> Give me about five minutes and I'm gonna show y'all what my recommendation is, okay? Cheese in that. Actually, recommendation is gonna be at the beginning of this video, i.e. sponsor content. Yeah. So anyway, y'all, as soon as I finish cooking and eating, we're gonna go upstairs and clean up my closet and clean up my room because I literally just, I feel like I've just been showing y'all that I'm a messy person and in real life, I'm not but my life doesn't necessarily allow for me to always have a clean house so that's just the reality of the situation there but i was like let me clean my house because these folks gonna be like mm, she nasty in a real life it's like i ain't nasty i'm just sad <laughs> i'm just a little bit sad so yeah i really gotta get my closet together because i can't even fight straight when i go in that thing like i don't even want to wear clothes like just shut the whole thing off oh so let me tell y'all how about you know i was telling y'all i couldn't find anything i needed for my closet like for the ikea pack system why did they discontinue the gray one i slick want to call ikea and be like hey y'all just gonna discontinue it when y'all ain't even having everything i need in stock like y'all gonna replace it with a white one for free but i was like no i'm not gonna call and ask for that because i don't want no white one i like the gray I like that it's unique and that it matches my bathroom cabinetry. But I'm slick mad about that. Like, how y'all just gonna discontinue something? Y'all should've warned me a year ahead of time, hell. So anyways, for that smaller unit where I wanted to get more shelves, I'm gonna go hopefully today or tomorrow to Ikea to see if I can find. It says that they had like, did it say 20 left in stock at the Atlanta location. So we're supposed to go there. If they don't, my plan is just to go to, um, what's the name of the place? Home Depot and get the wood cut to the size that I need it. Have them match the paint color and then re DIY it. Is that what I want to do with my time? Absolutely the hell not, but I ain't got a choice, do I? So that's our dilemma, you know? And then I just contacted somebody to come out and give us a quote for our deck. Anyway, y'all, let me and Bean eat so I can go. To tell y'all, um, y'all know how Malia's birthday is coming up this month, at the end of this month. So I'm gonna have her birthday party on over Memorial Day weekend on a Sunday because my thought is that most people <laughs> Jesus Christ, child, I can't do nothing. My thought is that most people would be off that Sunday what's up um and then my niece is graduate no yes yeah, she's graduating that Saturday so we can't really do anything yet then but anyways my whole point in telling y'all about that is because I really want to do um I wanted to do something with flowers like real flowers the theme is born to bloom so I'm ordering this um flower cart off of uh, Target actually. I'm gonna get real flowers. I think I'm gonna order them from like a flower company or y'all I can honestly just go to a store and Get some nice flowers, but I need a lot of flowers. My husband was like them flowers gonna be expensive Okay <laughs> The brioche bread that I used to make French toast I Just toasted it and put some syrup on it. <laughs> Who's gonna make some French toast? Y'all, I ain't got time to be dipping and whipping. Okay, we're done eating, but I just wanna put that up on the camera. Oh, I don't try um, camera. Dang.
If y'all like Tonzo T, I could be I could be late to the game. Ooh. Damn. Why you did that? I'm just playing. She didn't do that. This Tazo Passion. They want caffeine free. It's good too. So if you thirsty. But then this one, Awake Girl. It's so good. This is black tea. So if you you don't want to drink no hot tea in the morning, drink this. If you don't want to drink no hot tea before bed, drink that. And then there's not even a lot of sugar in it. This is only 70 calories. This has 18 grams of sugar. I don't know if that's a lot or not. And then the other one has 60 grams. Baby. They expensive for that size carton. But we're good. Okay, let's go upstairs, y'all. All right, y'all. I'm out of breath from walking down up the stairs, up and down the stairs. So me and Bean decided to take the mirrors out of the box because I just wanted to see what they look like. I'm just gonna turn y'all around. Can y'all see that? I hope it's not a glare. Immediately, yes. Immediately, yes. Y'all know that little audio on YouTube, TikTok? Immediately, no. I mean, girl, immediately, yes. Like, it's all the white for me. Like, it's definitely accomplishing the Lux Hotel vibes that I was going for. And I don't even have the real bed yet. I mean, not real bed, but y'all know what I mean. I am so happy I found these white lamps. Uh, Y'all, I'm so happy I could cry. It just looks so nice and clean. Like, so seeing my bed with only the white sheets on there confirms that I want to do white bedding which y'all know I already bought a white um thing so Chelsea one of the girls I mentioned in my last video she showed her Brooklinen sheets on her last vlog and I was like so they're really that good because I've heard it from them being per like promoted in a sponsored video before but I always want to tell are they is it truly worth the money because they don't do like a detailed review on it you know what I'm saying but when I seen Chelsea, I was like, okay, okay. So I think I'm going to order their duvet set. Um, Because everybody says that their sheets are like buttery soft and all this kind of stuff. But, excuse me, I was also looking for white duvet cover because you know I told y'all I don't want us to be sleeping up under the white one that I got. But I'm almost figuring out, like trying to figure out, do I need the other one? Because the other one I purchased was $300, you know, at the text tag and title. And the Brooklinen sheet sets are like $300. So I'm like, do I want to sleep in $600? You know what I'm saying? Am I worth it? Yes. But am I worth it? No. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and put the pillows on there just so we can get the effect of some of the colors and stuff I'm trying to go through. Go for, sorry. Um, These pillows probably, they're not as fluffy as I want them to be. But that's probably because they've literally been sitting rolled up in a plastic bag for the inserts have been sitting in there for like, hell, I don't know, some months. Anyways, so I think they'll air out over time. They're not like too bad, but y'all see how it has like that canvas cream color on the back. So anyways, I love that against the white because they pop, obviously. And then for the nightstands, remember the mirrors are not going to be sitting on the nightstand. They're going to be up on the wall. So, I mean, this is not really, it's not really giving anything, but it's also not taken away. I do like how it looks simplistic. I even thought about putting this like inside of the tray like this, which I might do like that. Cause you can still, I think I am going to do that. You can still sit your stuff on the inside and then it doesn't take too much of the nightstand up. I actually like that. It looks like a cup with straws, but I think it's cute. So let me change the other side really quick. And then like if we wanted to sit a glass in here, you can just sit your coaster in there or just sit the coaster on the outside of it. Which way do I have that one turn? Like this. So I think it goes on that side. I don't know how I had it y'all, but y'all get the gif. Y'all get the gist. So I think these are really nice. I'm really excited. Ignore that bottle thing right there. Look at me. <laughs> so I'm ready for the bed to come. It would have been here this Friday, y'all. I don't even think we even going anywhere. 
anymore so i might try to see if i can get it rescheduled back to friday if not i'll just be patient until monday okay y'all i went ahead and threw the little knit blanket from casa on here whoever it was that told me that i did not need a king size girl i appreciate you because this is the queen and this thing is massive and it's thick and it's longer over here than on the other side but anyways i love this so as y'all can kind of see the back of the pillow is the same color as the blanket so we have our creams we have our pop of color right here um i'm about to go get the other decor to kind of sit it on the bed so y'all can kind of get an idea of how i'm bringing like the moody tones in here as well as the luxurious vibes i definitely think the pillows go with the luxe and the moody vibes especially with this it's like the crushed velvet type material y'all i'm so in love with my bedroom and it's not even done but y'all know what i forgot bam i forgot we needed chairs i don't know how i was like okay we're done i've ordered the furniture i need chairs now what i do want with the chairs is big chairs that we can like lounge in i want to be able to put my feet in the chair and like cozy up with a blanket because i don't know for some reason over the years i have developed this thing of once you're out of the bed for the day you are out of the bed for the day i don't want you sitting on my bed i don't want you in my bed take your ass over here to these chairs and that's what i want even before we like go to bed for the night i want to be able to just like sit over here i don't want to leave my bedroom i want to be able to sit over there you know what i'm saying so i'm thinking that we should get two chairs over here and then like a small nice little table i don't want it to look like office seating area ish i just want it to look lounge -ish. you know what i'm saying so i think i might order some swatches to figure out what color i want i think i still want to do cream chairs or white chairs i know it i know i don't need them y'all see how i pushed out over there to the side Good. anyway so yeah i i don't know i also had said i was gonna do gray but i honestly just don't see how that even makes sense anymore i don't know it might I don't know y'all i'm gonna order some swatches but i need to find the chairs that i want i just want some deep chairs but still very nice like very nice quality one of y'all had just commented on the video that i put up it was like cb2 is trash you only get it for little stuff i kind of felt it in my soul because y'all know the quality i think the quality is like so so it just really depends on the product that you're ordering but y'all don't know how much anxiety I have about, like, I don't know if I told y'all, but my table chairs and my entryway table are all being delivered on the same day. And while I'm excited about that, I am so nervous because y'all already know how my coffee table showed up. Like, it took three tries to get it right. And my the, the table is glass. And I just have this feeling that it's going to be completely shattered when it gets here. I don't know but girl i felt what you were saying but i'm giving it a try i actually like cb2 but their 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 delivery is just their delivery drivers whoever the company is that delivers their stuff is absolute trash but i mean i read the reviews on everything that i purchased and everything i purchased had really good reviews there's always a handful of people that base their reviews off of <laughs> experience and not the actual product so sometimes that can be i feel like that can kind of skew it a little bit i think you're right and go it should be based on everything but i be focused on the product at hand like set aside from the fact that you ain't like that the customer service rep got an attitude with you when you tried to call and that you had to wait on the phone for an hour before somebody can come to you how do you like the table sir Cause that's all I'm worried about at the end of the day. Customer service does matter. But how that table, how them chairs sit. Anyways, y'all. I'm about to go get the other um decor pieces and then I'll kind of like show y'all that. And then I'm just gonna stop talking because I feel like I've been talking all day. Y'all carrying the baby and all of this stuff up at the same time. Baby. So, anyways. This is one of the books that I showed y'all in a previous haul. 
that I got from Home Goods. I don't know, $25, $30. It's got some really cute stuff in here. This is very antiquish to me, but yeah, it's some nice stuff in here. So I might actually leave this open on the dresser. I don't know. Um, and then this is the book that I absolutely, absolutely love. Um, I might end up layering it like this because this is a dark deep green and then this is obviously whatever color green y'all can see what it is but if I oh put this right here sit that right there y'all can kind of see what I'm going for I absolutely love that this vase matches both the book and the pillows hello <laughs> Hello. Okay, y'all, so I want to open up this comforter set. I'm gonna set y'all up over here on my husband's dresser um, while I do it. Hopefully y'all can see us. What is it focusing on? Being over here trying to mess up the whole thing, like, girl, I need to be able to send this back. She ain't got her little spit stain in it. Whoa, take a sip. Boom. Yeah, so I want to see what this looks like really quick before I make a decision as to whether or not I want to keep it. Hmm. Take this. I think I'm going to keep it. It feels like so, mmm. So I'm so confused. This is the, the top of it. I thought it was, I don't know. Like I thought it was different. I'm not. And it's more of a cream color. It's definitely not white. y'all let me uh, let me get it like open it definitely gives you looks vibes hold on y'all my mom's calling me hello hey okay y'all i am back i was on facetime with my mom and then you know she was like girl i want to see everything so i have the comforter set on here i have the throat on here I love how everything looks. I'm definitely keeping the comforter set because I think just the material of it, it's very like, I don't know, it just gives me like looks vibes. You know what I'm saying? It goes really good with the pillow set. So I am still going to do the whole brick linen thing because like I said, I want to get a duvet cover, a nice duvet cover that I can wash that has good quality. It's not going to be like drawing up and stuff. And based on the reviews, based on what I've seen, um, you know in videos what people are saying that it, it the quality is good so i'm gonna get that and then my bed will basically just be layered so the comforter set will be at the bottom kind of like with this and then you have the duvet that'll kind of be layered up under it um so then over here i have um laid out everything how i thought i wanted it to be but these two vases right here that i told y'all i was potentially going to use in here i'm not because the handle on it is what kind of turns it more into farmhouse and then these are more like elegant looking so i'm gonna get probably still something cream to put over there just to bring out the cream tones from that book as well as the cream tones from this this is the thing i showed y'all from cb2 i think it looks really good on top of this honestly y'all i don't even know when my dresser set is supposed to get here it's not um they haven't sent me an email to schedule for delivery so it'll probably be sometime at the end of this month Malia is asleep in her crib. Um, so I gotta be quiet because obviously the hallway is right in front of her bed, of her room. But, so some of y'all were saying that we needed to, um, hold on. This picture needed to go further up. So obviously where i was originally holding it is not where it's gonna go because my husband quickly said why you got it all the way up to the ceiling so it's gonna go midway probably come down about right here um some of y'all were saying i need to center it with the wall but hear me out 
So I am walking down the stairs right now. And as you can see right here, this is the wall that I want it centered with. This is the hallway wall to me. That part over there, starting right here, starts Malia's wool hallway. I don't want to center it with this entire wall. This wall is like non-existent. And as you're walking up the stairs, this entire wall right here kind of blocks that anyways. Let me show y'all. So I'm standing from right here. I just want it centered with this. I mean, it'll be over because obviously you have the light switch right there. So it's gonna come over just a little bit, but I don't want it centered with that entire wall, if that makes sense. I mean, obviously before we permanently put it up there, we'll play with it a little bit, the placement, because it's possible that when my husband holds it up, I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Let's center it with the wall. But right now my initial thought is to center it right here. And then not only that, there's a switch right there. So I, I really can only play with this area right here. Y'all know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not mad about y'all's comments because I wasn't married to it anyways. She was $50. This basket was like 30. Like I said, $80 back in my pocket. This vase was 15. Oh, hold on. And that's when she knew. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take these flowers out because the flowers obviously don't go in my room. I like these flowers for Malia's room, actually. Might find somewhere to put them in her bathroom. Hold on, y'all. But yeah, I'll figure out something to do like this. I don't want too much on the dresser, y'all. But I think a vase on one side, this vase on the other. This vase goes with the two mini vases that are over there. So I think that looks good. So I think that's what we're going to do. And then I'm going to put these possibly on the entryway table downstairs. If I can't find anything to do with them, I'm taking them back. But Ben's like, I got them. They match this picture. Somebody has said paint the frame of the picture black. I don't know if y'all thought I was still keeping the other picture that actually had a frame but this one is a canvas picture so were y'all saying paint this black because it's gray like my whole loft is gray why would i paint it black do y'all really think it needs to be black i think it looks fine anyways but these vases match this picture so what do y'all think like somebody had said a runner i don't i don't want i don't want a runner up here yeah, I don't think I want to run her up here. Um, you know, I'm not opposed to, to any of y'all's ideas because I obviously I asked for it. I need help. But how can I get these vases to work right here? Should I just get a little bench to go up under it? Um, not not that small kind of bench, but a bench that's long ways to go right there. Like, I don't know. I really do like these vases. Or can I use the vases right there on the floor underneath it? And get something tall to come up out of it. Y'all just let me know. Because um, I definitely like the picture though. I think it's very subtle. I don't want you know too much going on over here. But this, this stuff right here is going back. I'm going to take my little blanket out of it. And put her over here. And I'm taking those right on back today. So yeah. That's it on that y'all. My kids. They live here. <laughs> they are residents of this house. I just had to show y'all really quickly what I did with these flowers. I think it's really cute. It matches the flow of the room, the bohemian thing. So um, that's no longer a tissue holder. It is very much a flower holder. So I can just tuck them down in there a little bit more. We're going to call it. One of y'all mentioned putting bean stuffed animals in the basket. And I like that idea. So I'm going to keep this basket. Okay, let me go. Okay, so just in case y'all couldn't hear me on the previous clip, I basically said that I was going to keep that basket to go in Bean's room because it does give me like the whole, whole boho vibes. And I could probably use that basket as decor for her birthday party. So I'm about to go downstairs and start editing the video that y'all are watching right now. Just so I can see um, how much more footage I can actually record as part of this video. Um, and then I'm going to start planning her party and ordering stuff so I can make sure that it's here in time. But we gotta go to Home Goods because I have to return the store. <laughs> I wanna pay for something I'm not gonna use. Like, what is this? I'm like, oh my gosh, I just scratched up the wall. <laughs> we gotta paint anyways, but damn. All right, y'all, I will come back to y'all 
when we start working on putting that picture which will probably be later today and it don't look like i'm going to ikea today because it's already one o'clock and no oh and also y'all's feedback on the guest bedroom so i need to find some curtains to go in there i think i want like some linen curtains similar to the ones that are in maddie's room i mean malia's room but a little bit thicker than that so we'll see i'll talk to y'all later hey y'all so me and malia are headed to target to pick up an online order so i pretty much just um bought a banana tree because i'm either going to use it in my bathroom or on my deck even though it's indoor but um they're selling out you can't even purchase online and ship to your home so i was like i don't have time to ponder while it's at the store i'm gonna have to ponder on it while it's sitting in my house so and then i'm going to home goods but primarily to return the store and then i also need to return a basket to target not the basket that i showed y'all malia's room but the basket it's another basket that i bought it's like 44 dollars tf <laughs> no absolutely not but it didn't work out anyways i think i showed it to y'all in the last vlog i don't think i showed it to y'all at all actually but anyways let me go because the more i talk the more she's gonna want to get out of her car seat and that's not an option so i'll see y'all later hey y'all so we finally got the picture hung upstairs i'm about to go up there and show it to y'all but really quickly in the breakfast neck area y'all know we're supposed to be putting one of those little light things up above the gallery wall just need to turn y'all around so is it focused i don't know anyways so we're supposed to put one of those brass lights up above the gallery wall right so because of how high it is we i think are going to lower it to where the bottom row is in line with the switches that way when the light goes up there it's not literally on the ceiling so we're gonna have to shift those down also really quickly i ordered this little thing from amazon to put my headbands on i hope it's right i almost have my closet clean i'll show y'all my progress but we about to go upstairs anyways also, did I mention, I still haven't made this high kid. So, nine times out of 10, they probably done sold out my dang on shelves. But earlier in the vlog, because I've already edited this, edited this vlog, I had mentioned to y'all that, um, I had mentioned to y'all that I was gonna go get wood cut and have, go get wood and have it cut to the sides of the shelves that's in my closet. But what I meant to say was I was planning on going to Ikea and just buying the white ones and just staining them or painting them the color gray. Anyways, besides the point, let's look at these. The what's thing behind me? Hold on. Okay, so here is how we decided to hang it. I know some of y'all said center it with the wall. Some of y'all said hang it lower, which we did do it lower. Y'all can see it hits just below the switch right there. But we just decided to center it between the bottom switch and the top switch thing over there so this is what it looks like if you look from this angle so i like the fact that i can actually see the picture before i even come upstairs so and then <laughs> look at madison ignore the ironing board y'all i gotta iron their clothes for school yes instead of a shower yeah yes you may can you move that? I'm trying to show them my decor. Yes. And your little piece of paper, uh, -uh your piece, piece of paper is not part of it. So those two vases that I was showing y'all earlier in the vlog, below that, I still wanted to try to figure out how I could get it below that. But for right now, I just put them right here. And I'm not mad at it because y'all see how it brings a little bit more cream over here. I already had this circle thing and that little chest box thing which matches that over here. So tan, creams, Tan creams, grays. I also love how it's gray right there on the side. Cause as y'all know, everything over here is gray and then you have blacks and creams. So the picture really matches that with the exception of the black. Um, and then also from this angle, if it is even focusing, I love that I can now see a picture behind me. It's not a lot back there, but it's better than the blank wall in my opinion. So. 
I want to take a picture from this angle. Get a little bit of that. That's carrot. All I gotta do is move that up a little bit, baby. We you know. But yeah, I like it. it. Turned out really nice, I think. And as y'all can see, there's nothing over there. So I listened. Who earring is this? Child. So I'm not 100% certain if these two vases over here, with the exception of the bottle, um, are gonna stay right there. But for right now, I'm gonna leave them. I can also potentially use them in the entryway. I could also potentially use them as centerpieces on the new dining table that's gonna go in the breakfast nook area. Although I do like my florals, which I could put the florals in there. But right now I like the glass. I just don't know if I want glass vases on a glass table. I think that looks weird. I don't know. Um, but what I was gonna say about the electrician. So I have an electrician's name. Um, so I'm gonna have, see if they can come out and hang the light that's gonna go above there. Um, remember it's 18 inches. I think it's the perfect size, the perfect color to go right there. Hang that as well as the one downstairs, but we'll likely remove all the pictures, let him hang the light, and then shift the gallery wall down. So I think that's how we're gonna approach it so we don't have thousands of holes in our wall. But anyways, y'all, I think that's gonna be it for this particular vlog. So what are we doing on next vlog, on Sunday's vlog? I really don't know, honestly. Oh, I did have one more thing to show y'all, but I'll just show y'all that tomorrow. It's something in the master bedroom. Um, I think I told y'all earlier I was going to get a banana tree. I put that on the, in the master bedroom. So I'll just show y'all that on the next vlog. So anyways, I'm about to let y'all go. So hopefully y'all have a blessed week and thank y'all so much for your continued support. And I will see y'all in Sunday's video. Ooh.